Well, here are some of those notable off-season moves, and uh, Doug Peterson might be the biggest of all of them after the Urban Meyer debacle from last season. Peterson won a Super Bowl with the Eagles, did a great job when he was with Carson Wentz, with Wentz as a first and second year player, nearly won the MVP. See what he can do with the young quarterback, Trevor Lawrence, coming off a season in which he had more interceptions than passing touchdowns. Christian Kirk joined HQ this morning, their big off-season acquisition. Pete Prisco in Jacksonville with Kirk. All right, Christian, uh, first day out here. I know it's a little hot, but how did it go for you guys out there today? It went great. Yeah, it was really good for us. Um, you know, just the first day, being able to kind of start keep laying the foundation that, you know, and building off of what we have already laid in minicamp and OTAs and uh, just getting back out here, getting into the flow of things. And uh, I thought we started fast, we competed, and it kind of set the tone for, you know, what training camp is going to be like for us. When people look at this team, they say, oh, the receivers, they're a little uncertain. What do you say to that? I mean, I don't know how you come up with that statement, uh, how you say uncertain. I think we have over 20 years of experience in our room, guys who've played a lot of football and have had a lot of success in this league. So I guess whoever has that opinion can keep it to themselves. There are people out there that say, oh, he's the poster child for, look how much money he got paid and, he, you know, what has he done? I'm a big believer you pay guys on the way up. When you hear that, how do you take that? I don't listen to it. I mean, like I said, uh, you know, people can have their opinions, people can talk, but uh, for me, you know, I know what I've earned and I know what uh, I have worked for. And so for that, uh, I'm just going to keep going and, and keep working to be the player that I want to be. What's a good season for you personally? Just being the best football player that I can be and being available for our 18 games for my team. You don't put numbers like a numbers goal or anything never, like never that? Do. Never have? Never do. Never have? What have you seen from Trevor so far since you've been here? Just progress and his mentality, his approach, and the way he's able to see the field. He's making decisions quick, and uh, you can tell he wants to be aggressive, push the ball down the field. And, you know, he trusts in us to go make plays for, for him. And so, uh, you know, really like the way he's been progressing so far. What's, how would you describe a Doug Peterson offense? You've played in different offense, but how would you describe a Doug Peterson offense? You know, I think it's dynamic, but it has a foundation. You know, there's going to be things that we're really, really, really good at, and we're going to run. Uh, 10 to 15 times during a game and there's going to be some things that throw some crinkles in there that you know can throw the defense off based off of uh, game plan and uh, you know it's, it's dynamic so I think it's a uh, it, it's an offense that's going to be able to showcase all the talent we have. One last thing you've been a relatively young player for the first couple years on the roster first couple years on your team now you're kind of an older player on this team compared to some of the younger guys how does that change your role? Just leadership, being more vocal and being able to pass on the things that, you know, I've learned from, you know, all the, the vets that I've been around and all the great players that I've had the, the pleasure of playing with and just being able to pass on that knowledge and, you know, give back to the guys that are younger that were in my position. Thanks, man. Appreciate yep. it. Thank you. Hi, Christian Kirk with our Pete Prisco saying, if you don't think the wide receiver room is good in Jacksonville, you better keep that opinion to yourself. Keep it to yourself. Zip it. We're with the Jaguars today and tomorrow. Pete's also going to be speaking with Trevor Lawrence. And then Pete and Rick Spielman are going to head down to Tampa to visit Tom Brady and the Bucks. We're also going to be with the Cards, Niners, Browns, and Cowboys later on this week. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.